Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. So I'd like to read this morning as we move into a new week together, uh, Psalm 89, verses 15 to 17, which I believe, uh, just as I read through it, really um, gives us a real strong point of focus and several different key points for this week upcoming. So here it is. Psalm 89, verses 15 to 17. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship. Hearing the call to worship God. Remember, worship isn't just singing, though it includes that. Worship is worthship, is the old English word. It means God being the ultimate worth of my life above all else. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship, for they walk in the light of your presence, Lord. It's really sort of a prayer that's being prayed that is a reminder to us as we pray it that our walk is in the light, the light of his presence. The world dwells in darkness, the scripture says, but it's the light of Jesus that is the only light of the world. We're about to celebrate that in the upcoming Christmas season, but it's the, he's the light of the world and in him is light. And as we walk in the light, 1 John 1, 9 says, we uh, have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So in his light, there is purity. In his light, there is clarity. In his light, there is direction for our life. Third thing, they rejoice all day long. I love that. In your wonder, wonderful reputation. How about this? How about if we have a week where we don't care so much about what people think of us, our reputation, who we are, what we do, but that we rejoice all day long, not in our reputation, what people think of us, but in what we know about him, what he's done in our life, what he's capable of doing in our day. But our rejoicing isn't in what people think about us, it's in what we know about him and we live in that. And then the last thing, they exalt in your righteousness. The Hebrew word for exalt is to lift up, to, um, to uh, lift up, to, uh, to exalt, to even grow up, it, it can mean. And it's a growing sense of the righteousness of God in our life, that it isn't about us. Old English word, right wiseness, it means right conduct, right living. But the right living of our life isn't in our deeds, it's in him what he's done for us in Christ and appropriating that out into our week. And then the final thing it says here is it pleases you then to make us strong. So how about if these are our points of focus for this week, South Lake family, that we hear the joyful call, that we walk in the light, that we rejoice all, all day long, and we exalt in his righteousness. And if we'll do those four things, then his commitment to us, in fact, he is pleased, it says, to make us strong, strong in him so that we can live out that kind of a lifestyle uh, this entire week long. So that's my prayer for us. Let me pray right now. Lord, together we agree <clears throat> to make you the focus of our day, of our week. We commit and dedicate it to you as we dedicate our lives to you fresh and new. We pray you'd fill us with the Holy Spirit. Pray you'd encircle us in your love. Let nothing penetrate the circle, but what you allow for our good and your glory. And Lord, may we experience you, our Lord, um, as we walk with you in your light, that Lord, you would provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. That's our prayer. We thank you for what you're going to do today, this week, and we give it all to you in praise. In Jesus' name, would you say amen with me? Amen. And amen. We're praying for you today and this week. It's going to be a great one. God bless you. I'll look forward to talking to you in the morning. Talk to you soon.